Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to another speed build video. So today I am making my very first base game modern mansion. Um, this is on a lot in Windenburg, it's quite close to the cliff so I think I'm going to end up calling this something like cliff top modern mansion or something, I don't know. Um, I always find it really hard to think of names of what to call these builds. Um, I think some people like come up with really cool names and there's just me just like it's a modern house oh it's a family home <laughs> but anyway um so yeah uh, so rather than making this really easy for myself and doing a build which is fairly small I decided to build an absolutely massive house um I have never done a base game build before um, I'll actually, I probably did. So when I first went over, like when I first converted to <laughs> The Sims 4, I only had the base game for quite a long time. And this wasn't actually like straight away after the, um, the game first came out. I was playing The Sims 3 for a very long time just because I thought it was one of the best games ever and even though my game crashed every like half an hour when playing it I just couldn't let go of The Sims 3 so um, when I actually finally converted to The Sims 4 I just played with base game for a bit but that was way before I started doing YouTube so this is first base game build for my channel um, and it's one of those things that once you have all the expansion packs, it is so hard to try and do a build without using all the pretty items that we have. Um, just remembering like that, like when I was doing this build, like, I don't know if you've seen, but I actually used windows that were from Spa Day. So straight away I had already failed at this and um, was using items that were wrong. Um, I do end up changing those though because obviously it's it's not going to be a base game build if it weren't for those windows. <laughs> yeah, I think it's at this point when I'm like, oh, this isn't base game. Um, oh yeah, and the stairs were like from Spa Day as well. Um, so obviously with um, a base game build, you are very limited to what you can put in. Um, but I don't know, I think what I achieved in the end it's fairly nice um it was hard i'm not gonna lie there were items that i wanted to use and then i was like oh no i can't do that and such things of just like like the windows are fine because you can just put in those big plain windows and it looks absolutely fine but then you end up like wondering what you're gonna do for wall or for the doors i mean and then it gets really hard because the only big doors that they have in this game are like fairly plain so it's like it's really hard um but one of the things so this was very highly inspired by a build that i saw on pinterest um and i really wanted to do a i think it's um i really wanted to do an infinity pool i had tried it like before in the past but i like it just didn't work for me but I think with this it actually works really nicely and because I actually like decorate the edges as well it's more like it's on a cliff top um, but yeah so this house has I think three bedrooms so like in the end it's not actually that big like the inside space isn't like there isn't it's not like there's like loads of space that isn't needed. It's all still quite cozy and I think I dress the room fairly well as well. Um, I really hope those pillars were base game because now I'm starting to wonder if they're not <laughs> as well. Um, uh, let me see. No, they are base game. Thank God. Um, but yeah, so anyway. Um, oh, what was I saying? But yeah, I'm just going to move on because I've completely <laughs> lost what I was going to say. 
Oh yeah, no, so this is three bedrooms. It's got four bathrooms. Each bedroom has an ensuite, which I wasn't gonna do at first, but then the top bedroom didn't have an ensuite and the nearest bathroom was all the way down on the first floor. So I had to change that in the end. Um, and altogether, I think this cost, this house costs around 300,000 simoleons. So obviously um, it's not a starter home or anything. It's you know maybe just do a bit of a cheat to help your sims get the money for that um but yeah i spent a lot of time on the outside of this i think i took around two hours just doing the outside and then i think another three hours doing the inside um i just wanted it to be perfect i so i spent a lot of time like trying to get the right shape of the house and making sure there's like lots of balconies and lots of like green spaces as well because in the end it did end up looking like a little bit too white um but I don't know I I think it worked out very nice in the end um the very first ground floor I do not really do much with it um in the end I kind of designed it as a like a car park because obviously if you're going to be living in this house you are going to have a lot of cars <laughs> although the island that this is on doesn't really have any roads on it so I don't know how those cars would have got there and I don't know how where those cars are gonna go either but anyway um, so yeah, I was like, I was umming and ahhing actually for a long time anyway of just like what I could do with that underground bit but I was just thinking actually the space is just far too big to actually furnish it and to furnish it nicely so I didn't do anything with it in the end. It's a nice like garage basically. Um, but yeah, so this is like the shape of the house and um, at this point I'm just wondering like what to do with the paint on the outside I suppose um, in the end it's like it's mostly white with some bits of stonework which I think I don't know I think that works fairly nicely I just didn't want it to all be plain um, I think sometimes it's quite nice to have bits that stand out so even though this is like a like a modern, I don't know, maybe like an American villa of some sort. Um, I did want it to have nice little features to it as well. But yeah, so the outside, it does take probably half of this video. And at first I was thinking maybe I should do this in two parts, but then I think I would end up having two very small videos. And I do tend to like cut a lot of out when I do my voiceover anyway, so hopefully this doesn't go on for too long i think unedited it is around like 25 minutes or so which isn't too bad um but as you can see on the left the price is going up just the outside we are on 66,000 simoleons um but yeah so in terms of landscaping of the outside i don't really do too much i wanted this house to look natural I wanted the um, the infinity pool to be natural as well and um, obviously it's kind of like a beach lot in a way so we've got a bit of sand on the ground <laughs> um, but to be honest that is in fact all I do with that outside I kind of feel like your sims wouldn't necessarily use the very outside of the house um, like the grounds it would be mostly just inside um, but yeah and then obviously add some nice water features that I do end up removing quite a few of those anyway just because um, there needs to be a way for the cars to get into the garage so but yeah so this was um, highly inspired by a photo that I saw on Pinterest just like with many of my builds I I do like like when I build I do like building from a reference because sometimes I feel like when I build I do end up losing focus of what I want to do so um, I saw this photo on Pinterest that I absolutely loved and I wasn't always going to do it as like a base game but I thought why not give myself the challenge and do it but yeah
so uh i don't know if at this point of this video going out i'm actually recording the voiceover probably a couple of weeks before it actually goes out on my youtube channel um I don't know whether we would have heard anything about the new game pack that is coming out. I've seen on Twitter so far that there have been like a few spoilers of like, I think one of the sim gurus has been updating his profile picture on Twitter of different insects. So I think whereas I would have absolutely loved to have had like a, a nice new vacation holiday expansion pack of some sort um i think this is going to be more of like a wild adventures one um which i don't know i'm fairly disappointed with i just want my sims to be able to go on holiday and like actually swim in the sea but i don't think yeah this one looks like it's going to be more of a adventure holiday of maybe like exploring unknown worlds which i don't know i don't know how much i'm going to use that I don't know. It's one of those things that you can't really please everyone. A lot of people do like playing with that, but I do prefer realism in my games, so oh well. Um anyway, so we are still on the outside. Um I kind of wanted to get the outside all fully ready and furnished in a way and get lots of like plants already just so that I wouldn't have to come back to it and do it later on because I probably say this in absolutely every single one of my videos but I absolutely hate doing oh god I'm tired excuse me I absolutely hate doing the landscaping of builds um if anyone wants to do a collaboration with me and just do the outside for me then please feel free because it was one of my biggest hates having to do landscaping. I don't know, I just find it really boring. Um, but yeah, but one of like the most important things with this is just making the outside look interesting. Um, and obviously I have to end up adding like loads of like little awnings and and everything because the very, like whereas the back of the house is very interesting, the outside of it isn't as interesting like the front of it isn't very interesting so I have to end up um I have to like make it really interesting and just put little awnings up just so it doesn't look so flat because that's what I was finding it just looked flat um so this is when I do the driveway I saw on someone's channel so this is I can't remember who it is but I would fully credit you if I could remember um using a rooftop as like a slope because one of the most annoying things about like using a foundation on a build is that it ends up if you were like to put like garage doors in for example then actually there's like a step up that your car needs to go up and like that just doesn't make any sense to me um, at this point I do know that I have used a item from the city living pack fully aware of that I do end up changing it in the end because I was kind of like this is what I want to go for I want this downstairs to be a garage but obviously we don't have any garage doors at all with the um base game so I end up having I do take it out in the end and I just put in some big doors because obviously it would have been cheating the downstairs hallway again I don't really do too much with it it's just basically an entrance room um, I thought it would be quite nice just to leave it like fairly plain just because I didn't want to put too much down there it's not really a room that's going to be used it's just basically an entrance room to for your sims to go upstairs um, but yeah so the upstairs so for the interiors now, the upstairs bedroom is all open plan. This is the master bedroom upstairs. Um, with the design of this house, I kind of wanted, I don't want to go like, well, I suppose some parts of it is like ultra modern, but I also wanted it to be quite elegant as well. So 
and then because it's base game only I end up using items that I don't normally use from the base game just literally because I have no choice <laughs> um, so yeah so what we have here is a um, you've got the bedroom on the far end and then on the other end you have the walk-in wardrobe area at first I thought this was just fine but I later end up thinking actually we need a bathroom to go on this as well because they're just for some like I've got loads of little balconies with no way of getting onto them so I was like actually rather than using that as dead space I might as well convert it into a bathroom instead um so this is like kind of like the master suite in a way um one of my um I took for this for like the interiors of this because obviously I haven't actually um you done a build just using base game um items inside I was checking out a similar or not really a similar to me but one of the youtubers that I took a lot of inspiration from this was Dr Ashley I will link down her her channel down below and um, she does base game only builds all the time so when it came to furnishing this build I was a little bit scared I didn't think that I would have enough items to um, actually furnish the lot so make sure you check out her channel because the bills that she does are amazing and for all the bills that she does you don't actually have to have any expansion packs you can just go ahead as long as you've got the base game you just need to download her stuff from the gallery and it's just already built for you to use so yes yeah, I'm I took a lot of inspiration of how she actually decorated her buildings and like I think one of the things that I liked the most was the use of plants outside and because you just kind of really realise that those items are available so thank you Dr Ashley for giving me some inspiration. Um, so when just moving on to the middle floor now we have two bedrooms down here both with en suite one of them is blue and the other is pink. Um, in terms of like doing a build with like for kids, I don't know, I, when I do builds, I always prefer to do like adult bedrooms rather than catering it for children just because I just don't like building with children, <laughs> with children stuff, so these all the bedrooms are for adults but I suppose if anyone wanted to use this um, build then you can always just refurbish it the way that you want I suppose um, so yeah we this one this room is the pink room and to be fair like the builds are all fairly like the bedrooms are all fairly similar they've just got your main items but that is simply because with a base game build you there's not so much that you can put on that varies so I don't know I think this room is fairly cute in the end um but yeah so the hallways are all very modern I've, I've tried to use a lot of concrete in this and I don't know I really like it um but yeah Oops, ow. I just like smashed my hand on the table there. I don't know why, but I have just been so clumsy recently. But yeah, I'm okay guys, don't worry about me. I keep on like dropping stuff and just being, oh, just being silly basically. Um, we have recently painted the stairs in our little house and I accidentally put my hand in it like three times my boyfriend just wasn't happy at all because <laughs> he basically had to repaint it every time I accidentally put my hand on it but yeah so the floor that I have put in this bathroom I am absolutely addicted to it I don't know why and 
this is like actually going to feature in a lot more of my bills because I think I also put it in the kitchen as well in here but I have never noticed it before and I absolutely love it I can't get enough of it it's going in like absolutely every one of my bills at the moment um but yeah I don't know <laughs> that went on <laughs> off on a bit of a tangent then um but yeah so for the downstairs, so this is like the first floor I suppose you'd classify it as. We have the main living area. Um, so we've got the main bathroom, which of course, like this is a bathroom that would be used by your guests. So it is all um, marble and I've said to people many times before that I am obsessed with marble, so I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, this is me like just trying to like make the front of the outside house just look a bit more interesting because it was looking very flat. Um, so yeah, so the downstairs area was all used on, was all done on the third day of building this. Um, and then for the rooftop bit, I just realized that I really didn't like it like that. So it looks a lot better without it without like that weird trim that I put on. I don't know why I did that in the end, but oh well. Um, kitchen area is all ultra modern. Uh, and again, as you'll see in a bit, that I put that very nice flooring in. Um, yeah, the, the thing that I find with like these really long bills is that I cannot talk non-stop for half an hour. I'm like normally like a fairly quiet person anyway. So like for me having to talk for this long to myself I find it really hard um but anyway we're getting there we're nearly through this guys um we've got another like five minutes left and then it's all done which is actually surprising I managed to um furnish this whole bottom bit fairly quickly which is quite nice um for the downstairs area I've put some nice girly hints of purple and pink um when it comes to like furnishing like I normally stick for like fairly neutral colours like I never go out of my comfort zone and do like odd bits of colour everywhere well I'm I'm really trying to like I think when my build's coming up I do do something with a bit more colour in it but for this for example we've got purple stools and we make the um all the appliances in the kitchen purple as well so I am moving a little bit out of my comfort zone um yeah so Ah, uh, I don't know. We move on now to the living room area. And of course, this is a modern mansion, so we put a massive TV inside it as well. Oh no, we move on to, oh, I can't even remember what order I do this in. It was so long ago. Um, I think I kind of like leave the table like that and then move on and then do it again. There we go. So, <laughs> the, um, the living room is just a normal living room. God, I'm really running out of stuff to say now. <laughs> I've been talking for so long. Um, but yeah, obviously it's base game. So in terms of what I do with it, it is just fairly standard, I suppose. I think this might be a good time for people to go subscribe to my channel. <laughs> oh yeah. If, um, if you haven't subscribed already then obviously please do it means the world to me when I get new subscribers and I always like talking to people so make sure you like just leave me a little comment down below and I will obvi obviously get back to you as soon as I can um but yeah so the dining room area I wanted to put in a little bar area because obviously it wouldn't be a modern fancy home if you didn't have a bar. Um, so I'm basically just trying to like just fill in the final few touches for this. Um, I think one of the most important things when you are doing a build is that it looks homely. Um, and especially like with bigger builds, like one of the things that I found really hard to do at first was actually like fill up spaces and make sure that I had enough items in this build to make it look pretty and aesthetically pleasing um, but what I found with this is that actually um, I think as long as you like 
fill up your build with like lots of skills for your sims to do then in the end it turns out okay um but yeah so this is actually pretty much it we did remove the garage doors from city living um we have got an amazing infinity pool i'm so glad i managed to actually make a proper infinity pool it would be cool if the water did trickle over the edge but <laughs> that's never gonna happen really um i hope you like this build um please let me know down below what you thought about it this took me absolutely forever so any like constructive criticism will be hugely welcome um make sure you are subscribed if you aren't already and hopefully i shall see you next time see you later bye